Hello, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Modded Terraria. Uh, Hold on, let's get... All right, that works. Before we do anything, I am making the... Oops, the CDA, the Crab Cannon, because we haven't made it yet. Can you stop killing me, please? I'm trying to do something here. Thank you very much for the Wolfram shards that I'm never going to use. Uh, so here we go. Boom. The Crab Cannon. Summons crabs which will fight for you. Oh my. Okay. Yes! So it's like a summon weapon. And don't use it when you're standing on ground because they go right through the ground. <laughs> I have no mana. Anyway, I would like to talk about a couple things. Uh, first off, because I've gotten a lot, like, there's a lot of questions that I get. And then I have a question for all of you. Uh, the first thing is because I get a lot of questions about this or help, like people want help uh, about projectiles not showing up or damage numbers and everything. I think they're both tied together. So we're going to go to, if you have a problem with, uh, with uh, projectiles being invisible, go to your mod config. That's from the anti-lag mod. And dust always, you can turn... Not boss fights. I think by default, for some reason, by default it's on never, and dust is all of those effects. So I have mine on always. The only reason why I'm using this mod, I don't know if I even really need it anymore. Uh, I have this set. Kill far away player projectiles. So when projectiles are far away from me, off screen, they despawn. Alright? Just to reduce the amount of like slow down that could potentially happen and i've also like i've i've messed with a lot of my configs guys a lot of them i've things set all over the place and uh just look in here because you can change things in your mods and a lot of your mods and configure things the way that you would like uh but so that's that and my other question or my question is that uh, I'm still using, to answer, this will also answer another question for, that some of you guys have. I still use Pmod Loader 0.11.4, the old older version. And I haven't updated any mods in like three months, probably. Because, you know, I tried updating two times and there were like all kinds of mods unloading, different problems, etc. So, let me know if any of you, I know there are a bunch of you probably, who are using the same mod pack uh let me know what kind of issues you have with 11 uh, 0 0.11.5 the newest version of tmod loader and what mods in my mod pack don't yet work with it because i would love to update a bunch of these mods it's like Eralipa has a bunch of new stuff calamity like all of them there's so many and i would probably want to get new mods period that have shown up since then uh but I just haven't updated yet. Anyway, just let me know. All right, let's get to making some stuff. I want to make some of these more uh, storagey things from Portable Storage Mod. I think I could make, yeah, Odd Quiver, Zoaclan. That's cool. But we're gonna make the Arrow Quiver right here. Boom. So now I have that, so I can store arrows on me. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it right now, but we shall see. And then. There's the, probably the magazine. I know I can make that. Uh, magazine, yeah. Right here, boom, whatever. I could always buy more ore. I'm just gonna keep them on me for now, just in case I get any ammo drops. It's gonna start putting them in there automatically, I think, maybe, or I gotta put it in first. Uh, solution, that holds solutions. I don't want the wallet. I think that's sold by the uh, traveling merchant. I've seen it before. Adventurer's bag. I'm not going to do this right now, but I think, can I make, like, multiple adventurer's bags and have multiple of them? So I could, oh wait, or the, this, the skeletal bag. Because then there's also fairy bag, I can't make that yet. Papillary bag, 54 stacks of items. So you have this giant storage. Alchemist bag. I want to go and get the, here, how do we, oops, um, items. I need the alchemy table. So, we're going to go to the dungeon again real quick and get that. Uh, let me just do that, I suppose. Um, by going to this. Yes, right? Yeah. There we go. 
And let me just... There's, like... I'm trying to rush here. <laughs> Be, only because... Uh, that was a long intro. And because I have, like, a million things, like always, that I want to try to squeeze into this episode. So, we shall see. Um, and I don't know if I have a problem with... Like, I know that the... Uh, Genosis's uh, gem crawlers, they spawn a lot. Their spawn rate is like really, really high in the version of the mod that I'm using. But, uh, okay, so I just need, I may have already missed one. So I just want to come in here real quick and get an alchemy table. That's it. That's all we're doing in here. We got a peridot crawler or whatever. I have a million peridot because of you. And I, I want more because I could build cool things with gem spark, peridot gem spark. But still, I want other things to spawn as well. <laughs> so that's another reason why I want to update. Um, finally, I think it's about time. But just let me know if there's like still a bunch of problems going on with this mod pack or whatever. Which, whoa, treacherous conjurer. Get out of here. Yeah, because there's also, like, Split Mod has, like, the, uh, I think it's Split and not anti Aris has the, uh, Wand Cores that you can get in here. Alright, let me, I probably passed, like, a bunch of, uh, Alchemy Tables, maybe. I thought I had some, but it seems like I checked my storage and I don't have any. So, I'm going to grab this right now and we're gonna get out of here. Ow. Give me that. Alright, let's go. Stores 18 stacks of potions and 63 stacks of potion ingredients. And works like an alch alchemy table. Right click or use to open. Yeah, dude. I want that. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to get you and you. There we go. And give me marshmallows. I need more marshmallows. Oh, oh we didn't get any. Dude. What? And then let's see... Is there any more? I don't want to make this Builder's Reserve right now. I don't think I have 30 bone. I may. Actually, I probably do. Ninja's Arsenal. And then the Black Hole. We can't make that for a long time. But there's other things I can buy, too, from that mod. I want to go into the Cavern Lair. So I'm going this way. Past the Colosseum. And uh, there's another thing from Portable Storage mod that I want. An Ore Pouch. But I need to fight Undead Miners to get it. So it might take a while. So I'm going to be editing. I forgot I had that there. Oops. I'm going to be editing this a lot. Because it's already like 13 or 14 minutes into this episode. And there's still a million things that I would like to try to do. So uh, I'm just going to head down here. And then hopefully find this pouch quickly. Uh, I'm going to use a Zerg potion too, I suppose. Let me just... Uh, Look at this, we're in the cavern layer. Excellent. Now, let's just do um one of these. We saw 15. Good. And bring it. Hopefully we get things that aren't just gem crawlers, please. And aliens. Look at that. We got a skeleton. He's an alien skeleton. Alright, let me use a different weapon, maybe. Anyway, uh, yeah, hopefully I get this thing quickly. I have no idea what's going on right now. But there's something crazy happening. I don't know what that was. It happened when I went down here. Huh. That was really, really weird. Really weird. I, at first I thought maybe I was getting close to the lab. But no. Huh. I have no idea. That's pretty cool though. Everything started getting blurry. Uh, but I don't know if I killed anything. What's this? Skeleton Wanderer. Never mind. So, here we go. I almost missed you. Yeah. So I've killed a bunch of them. Um, I'm going to stay here uh, for the rest of the day. <laughs> Probably. This episode is going to take me, you know, several days of work to make. Because I want to get this. And then I also, it's getting late right now, though. I've been here for like over an hour. Um, but 
I'm just gonna stay here for a while longer. I'm kind of in the in the zone, and I keep like there's a lot of crawlers though. Ow, lots of these crawlers from uh, Furniture Food and Fun. Unfortunately, they're eating up a lot of the uh, spawn numbers or whatever. Anyway, so yeah, I travel back, dump all the stuff in storage, come back here again. I got this Earth Sword, which is pretty cool. I think. I think it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna switch to that for a little bit. I like it. Damaging purification powder. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys when I get this thing eventually. Yes! I just got it. I just got it. This is only like five minutes after I saw you last time. Miner's backpack. Look at that. Nice. Uh, stores 18 stacks of ore. Right click or use to open. Salvage from the remnants of the past. That's really cool. Okay. Anyway, uh, so, nice. Now I'm going to, we got another earth sword where I can sell that. Sweet. And here, I don't need to trash that anymore. I've been trashing a lot of things. Because, I mean, as you can see, there's just so many just items dropping over and over and over again. I've got a million trifold maps. Everything. Everything, well, I got a lot of stuff. And that event hasn't happened again. I don't know what that was. If you know what that was, let me know in the comments. I have nine minutes of Zerg left. I might as well stay here for another nine minutes, I suppose. And uh, just farm anything else I can manage to get down here. That's awesome that we got that. Finally! Let me uh, put that right over here. Excellent. So, yeah. Nice. So... Miner's backpack, and then we got arrows already in there, magazine, alchemist bag. Oh, wow. Potions. That's not a potion. <laughs> Interesting. Well, we got... I gotta check this thing then for loot. Yeah, I was wondering. I saw this thing drop earlier. This ancient world stave. And then... Uh, is this the other one? Endurance. I think... There's two different ones, and this is the other one I didn't have. Anyway, all right, whatever, that's cool. So I'm going to hang out in here for another nine minutes, getting a bunch of loot. And then I'm going to build the base, or just like, you know, get some rooms made and everything. Get the, the main layout of the base done. And then next episode, we're going to work on it some more. All right, and now time to start working on this. As I said, I'm not going to even come close to finishing it. All I want to do is get it started and uh, work on getting probably at least the entire outline of it finished and the the whole layout of it. So like a smaller, like a uh, smaller house over here and then a larger collection of houses over here, probably. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Alright guys, so I uh, just finished, pretty much, for everything that I'm going to be able to do today, 
Uh, first of all, I'm running out of time because I want to get this video edited and out to you. And there's still something I want to do before we uh, get out of here. So I didn't really do much except for build these two towers uh, and then like a support. I didn't want this one to go down all the way because I wanted this uh, like battlement type of fence over here. So I made this little support out of the uh, thorium brick. Yeah, thorium brick and thorium brick wall behind it. And uh, so it's just like half the staircase leading up to like the uh, this little lookout tower type of thing. Um, and then I just got started with like this dome in the middle, which I might change. Uh, this is going to be like, I don't know. I'm, I have to probably make it bigger. I'm, I want more towers. This whole thing is going to have like background towers and stuff like that around. Maybe like background towers made out of wall and actuated blocks, but then ending in actual rooms at the tops you know, that you can actually use. Uh, but this, I'm not sure. I might, you know, change that. It's just something I came up with really off the dome really quickly. And uh, it is, it's like a dome, basically. This, I like the way that this shape is coming along over the uh, garden area, which is not finished at all. And see, the thing is, I started putting too much detail. I was going to just do the layout, and then I'm, like, sitting here doing all this, like, adding all this detail and stuff to things, and that's going to come later, or it's supposed to. Like, I want to just get the layout finished, and then uh, make all the rooms in it, and get all the NPCs moved in, make a nice crafting area, and then, like, that has a lot of room for all of the crafting interfaces I need to make, and or other crafting stations that I just like the look of, that I want to decorate with, etc. Like the other base in the other world, you know, I saw had crafting stations out that I liked and, you know, etc. And, uh, yeah, but all up here, like, I'm wondering how I'm going to do this right now. Uh, just have, like, one side with, like, NPC housing in it on this side, and then another one on this side, and then up further, like, up here or something, they join together, and then it's going to go up. So this part, this is going to be the main part of it, basically. I don't know how high it's going to be. Maybe not that high, like maybe like that. It needs to be pretty space spacious, though, because I need to fit a bunch of NPCs into it. Most likely, I mean, I'm not going to move like these. I'm still going to have NPCs living around here and stuff. It's just, you know, there's going to be... This is where instead of this, instead of this meatball, big meatball in the sky, it's going to be... You know, they're all going to be over here. And there's going to be a lot of towers, too, like I said. Um, and then the main thing is also that I ran out of sandstone bricks. And not only did I run out of sandstone brick, but I also happened to run out, out of sand. So next time, I'm going to have to go on a expedition for uh, sand, which uh, we should be able to get a bunch Okay, and you know what's funny is, like, I don't know what causes it. This There's, like, different things that are going on with this mod pack. For me, uh, even on, you know, 11 point or 0.11.4 T-Mod Loader, 64-bit, um, I don't know if it's because of the Various Weathers mod, but I get, you know, like, Blood Moons every night, and basically every night, and then uh, I... Every time I leave my world and come back, it rains. It rains all the time. Anyway, it's just something I've noticed. Uh, you got regular torches in here. Never mind. Um, I just wanted to check his uh, inventory real quick for some building idea I have for the base. But whoop, we shall uh, I'll check that out next time. Uh, for now, we need to make... Let me just type in toad. Oops, that's not how you spell toad. Toad. Toadstool. Because, oh my god, I could just barely make it. What did I use all this from? Or for? Huh. Anyway, okay, let's make one of these. And uh, we're about to fight Truffle Toad. Because I need something from Truffle Toad. And I guess let's uh, just fly our way over this way. I love this. I love 
Like, I, I love it. It's one of my favorite things. One of the defining things so far in this series, in the new... I'm just going to say this series from now on, not the new season or whatever, um, is the Rock Wings. I love them so much. Anyway, here we go. Fly to our base. And, uh, or base in progress. And then, over here, the reason why I built this uh surface mushroom biome so early is because of this the truffle toad now i'm just checking out the grass down below it's taking forever it needs to all connect i got one more grass seed and i planted it here and that's spreading fairly quickly but the ones on the side man come on hurry up <laughs> i got all this to cover anyway whatever it's fine it's not necessary uh yeah truffle toad time let me, we're going to stay zoomed around. Let's zoom out a little bit, tiny bit. And I guess I'll keep using the map. And let's get you out. Let's get you out. Take care of everything else for me. And this is really awesome that you can actually like craft potions uh, with this thing. You know, the alchemist bag counts as a alchemy table. So as long as you have the ingredients in here, you can just craft more potions. But I'm not going to just uh, see if it works closed if I press B. But I'm assuming that it does. I just want to use these and not these, though. Uh, all right. Let's let's go. I think I'm ready. Let's do it. Truffle Toad. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, he's getting murked. Let me uh, hang on here. Where's my... Get out of here. Sane. And you can stay. You can stay around. I don't know if it has more forms. It is summoning truffles, obviously. All right, get some of that out. You know what? Crabs. We got the crab cannon. Come on, dude. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? All right, crabs and bees. Crabs and bees. Do that. Perfect. All right, we don't need the map. And then more crabs. Wait, get out of the ground, buddy. Yes. The Truffle Toad. And now we got Bubbles. Take that. Take some marshmallows, because everyone knows toads love marshmallows, right? Take that. Oh, I missed. <laughs> well, I, I gotcha. I gotcha a little bit. And then the bees are coming for you. Like Nicolas Cage. Alright, um... There you go. Get popped. Ow. Get absolutely popped. Did I get any more... Wait, where am I? Oh, my mushrooms are going automatically in here. We got 62. Let me see if I can get some, uh, a seed or two. The Truffle Toad. That was cool. All right, so yeah, no, no seeds. It's fine. Uh, let me take this. I gotta get used to having a barrel as my piggy bank for now. For a long time, actually, because we're not gonna be able to get the, uh, the garbage can one. I'm not going to be able to upgrade this to this until not for a while. Not for a little while. We need a uh, hard mode. Anyway, let's uh, go back here. And hopefully it, you get it every time. Three, two, one. Boom. Frog lob. Truffle leg. Oh, that's right. Yes. We need the truffle legs. Increase the jump speed and allows auto jump. Lethargic frog lob. Ranged. Uh... What does it shoot? Do I have anything? What is that? Oh, it is. It's just shooting whatever. All right, lobs like spit. That's okay. I mean, maybe we'll check it out next time. I'll keep it on me. We'll check that out. It does decent damage. I need to uh, reforge it, though. Let's do that right now, I suppose. But I need to fix this part so I don't accidentally jump in there again. And where are you? You're up here. Yeah, I just need to get all my peoples out of this. So, like, jumping around and, like, getting caught in the low gravity and then jumping too high and having to come back down. It's, uh... It's trying. 40 range damage. Okay, I'll check that out. It's not, like, super loud or anything. Which is the reason why I'm not using the, uh, plasma thing. Some weapons are too loud. Um, you know, for, for a lot of use in video anyway and i like to that that's definitely if you ever wonder about that yeah i make a lot of decisions 
not based on the game or gameplay or anything like that, but based on video, you know? I have to. Uh, unfortunately, I still, I don't use a lot of torches in early game, which uh, a lot of people complain about for the darkness, whatever. Anyway, with that, we should be able to make, I hope, is this it? The Madness Truffle, yes. Increased jump speed and allows auto jump. You're immune to fall damage. Increased jump height, plus 50 max mana, plus 50 max life. You know what? Just don't put it anywhere near your mouth. Sounds good to me. With the, yeah, all of these combined. Boom. Swift. Okay, Swift is good. That works. And, I mean, let's take that off for now. Okay. And, so, apparently, apparently we got to test something right now. Uh, let's just go. Apparently, I can, I can fly forever. And I think, like, the Madness Truffle helps you to be able to fly forever with these. But I think it also works for any wings, maybe. That's probably going to get patched. It may have already been patched in newer versions. But, okay. Oh, wait, so I can jump in the air, too, and then reactivate it. Wait, let's see. So I can fly up higher. Wow. Wait a minute. I can keep flying. Oh my god. Okay. And I got another trophy. How nice. So I can just glide around and I'm like, oh, okay. Let me, uh, we're getting a little too low to the ground. Let me fly up a little bit higher then. Nice. All right. That's not OP at all. <laughs> it's totally cool with me. Um, not like this is about balance at all, this series. Anyway, guys. All right. So I gotta get out of here for today and edit this, and uh, I'm working on something tonight that, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but thank you very much, all of you, but also, Buzzer99, or I guess it's technically 099, but I always just call you Buzzer99. Oh wait, is that a zero? I think it is. Yeah. Buzzer99 for telling me about the, um, that right there. The Madness Truffle. Madness Truffle for... I'm just going to put for... Here, we got to do for infinite flight. Uh, fun times. Yes. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. And then these... I've got another comment talking about... You know, I'm, I may end up doing this. Uh, talking about the chalk. These should be Roman numerals instead of normal alpha... You know, numeric... Whatever. They should be Roman numerals. I'm like, blah. Uh, I'm not getting any mush- I'm not mushrooms. Marshmallows from the marshmallow slimes anymore. How interesting. Or am I? And are they going- Look at this. Look at this insanity. Right. Look at that insanity. That's crazy. I love that so much. It reminds me of playing like an MMO that I used to play. Where I I'd carry around. I was in a PvP guild. We always carried around like our entire banks worth of loot with us. It was great. Anyway, Roman numerals. I may do that because this is like an old school like ruins type of thing. But also, it may not be because I might incorporate technology into this. I may incorporate technology into the entire world. Just like, we shall see. I've got some ideas for, for like connecting the different... I'm, I build in all different kinds of themes, you know? But I'm thinking about tying it all together throughout the entire world using some, like, ancient technology mixed with, like, newer futuristic stuff, etc. Just to tie the theme together of all the different builds. We'll see. That's going to be, like, 20 years from now. <laughs> but thank you, everyone. I'll see you next time. And uh, it'll be a, less of a wait. You know, this one was, it took a while. But I've been, you know, it's been my birthday, Thanksgiving, all kinds of stuff. Well, Thanksgiving and then my birthday and stuff. Anyway, thank you. And I'll see you next time. Again. Once again. Peace.